Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today we are going to take a look on how we can stop using our boring Windows 10 or 11 desktop and start using something refreshing with a minimalistic and professional and organized look that just looks awesome like the desktop that I've got right over here. Now we will need four simple steps that I'm going to share with you as quick as I can. And by the way, if you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11 and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen, it will get even cheaper. So just in case you want to check that out, the link will be down below. Now, let's go to step number one and the first tool that we will need is lively wallpaper if you don't have it you just need to go to google or to the windows play store and search for lively wallpaper install and basically that is it it has several presets but for this tutorial we will choose rain and let's select it and click on the three dot and choose customize. Here we can adjust a series of parameters such as intensity, speed, brightness, zoom, among others. We can choose between four images that come pre-installed or we can use any other image of our choice. For this tutorial I did download an image from Unsplash so that you can see how easy it is but I did end up using the default image for this video. Once we have the options to our liking we can just click on apply and that is it. Step number one is finished. So all the other steps will be such as this one. Now the next tool is to help us to customize the task bar. And for that we will search for rounded tab on Google. We will find the GitHub page. We just need to download, extract and execute. Just have in mind that this folder needs to be saved on a safe Place. and I would suggest to remove it from the downloads folder because any change that we will do will be safe to this folder so if we delete it we will lose everything just have that in mind now once we have everything running we will find some parameters we will find the margin and corner radius and we can adjust them and we will see the changes immediately so it's according to our taste if we want rounder or less and if we choose advanced we will have more options i did choose dynamic mode show system tray on hover and full taskbar when maximized we click on apply and we will see an error there that appears on the taskbar and at the moment of the recording to correct it we just need to click on the right button choose options bar behavior left alignment and then center alignment again and that is it it's fixed now we have the taskbar in the center and if we maximize a window it will appear in full size and if it's minimized the size is according to the applications that we have open so it will increase or decrease according to the apps that we have working on our taskbar now if we move the mouse over the lower right corner we will have access to the clock date shortcuts and so on basically Step number two is finished. Now, step number three, we will need a tool called Rain Meter. We just need to search on Google, Rain Meter and install. Now, still on Google, we will find the Mi Power Rain Meter skin. Download it and open. Then we will need to press the right button, manage skins and choose Mi Power. And then we can choose white or black depending on the image that we have so that we have a nice contrast. But basically it will create a shortcut to shut down, suspend and restart and we can place it anywhere that we want on the screen. The other one that we will use is the Mond skin. Let's select download Mond Rainmaker theme and open the file. On the options we will find the weather area code, the text color and the default language is English but as you guys know I do speak Portuguese so I did translate it so that you can see that if it's not your language you can translate to your own language very easily. We can also delete elements that we don't want by clicking on the right button and choosing unload skin. In my particular case I did took out the player and the recycle bin. 
been. But we can even delete more. For example, if we right click and select edit skin and then delete whatever we want, like the clock or date. I did just delete the clock. I did save and then I press on refresh skin and that is it. Now let's search for Monterey. Monterey rain meter theme download and install it like we did with the others. We can start activating the widgets that we want. And in my particular case, I did select clock that I did change to wide. That gives me digital clock and looks better in my opinion. And I did place it near to the buttons. I also activated calendar, reminder and notes that we can arrange in wide or normal size and then organize the way that we want and place them on our desktop according to our liking. We can also choose the theme with dark light or colors or leave it on blur, which in my particular case I do honestly prefer. I do believe that it looks best. And we are almost over. We have all this look, but we still have one thing to clear, which is the desktop icons. And for that, we just need to go to the options, select the ones that we want to disable. And that is it. We have the desktop completely clean like I do right now. And basically, this is it. Now, the inspiration is not mine. I did see this on another example, but this, I do believe that it's a base to work and an inspiration for us all so that we can not be limited only to the Windows desktop. And then we can start applying this and add more widgets or remove some of the widgets that we don't want, change the image, change the blur intensity and so on and so forth. So I do believe that it's an inspiration for us all. Hopefully the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. If you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing it so to help and grow this great community. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.